So guys, we've uh, finished up this 4AG and I just wanted to show you um, how much difference the actual molds look in this cylinder. This is a 10,000 RPM turbo thing. Uh, they're going to spin pretty hard for the boys down in Tasmania at um, Pokies Mechanical. Uh, but I just thought I'd show you the molds because they, they really tell the picture on, on how much metal we've actually had to pull out of this thing to, you know, get it to work well at 10,000 RPM, obviously, um, due to the cross-sectional area we're going to need. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll turn it around. And see. So here's the head. Obviously, we were running Ferrara valves, all the good bits, uh, Kelford camshafts. Uh, these are 10.5 mil, uh, 272, 280s. As you can see, there's the intakes, uh, bronze guides, um, Kelford buckets, etc. We're also running the Plasma Man uh, Planum, which we've match ported to this head, uh, throttle body and clamps for the customer. As well. So here we have the uh, before and after molds of the 4AGE. So these really highlight, and this is something um, I say to a lot of people when they start porting or, or doing any developmental cylinder head work, uh, mold it and actually have a look at your work in a 3D uh, environment like an actual port mold because it really tells the story. So uh, if we have a look at the original, this is the standard mold. As you can see, horrible transition into the window itself from the actual uh, window here. Even half inch in, we've seen an 18% reduction in cross-sectional error because the, the window didn't align well. You can see where they've come in with the CNC and you know we've got this abrupt angle and it was really tight right here. Uh, so we've, we've fixed that. The divider is wide and horrible. Uh, the uh, guide uh, fins, if you could call them that, were also way too big, creating all these really, really sharp edges, these sharp, flat, short, tiny little radiuses, which really don't flow air well at all. Uh, same with the underneath, these real tight radiuses in the side. Um, you can see the horrible core shift. So the body of the mold was this way, the seats were that way, and then they were also that way, and the mold is low. So we've had to fix all that as well. Uh, being 10,000 RPM, we obviously needed far more cross-sectional area. So we're able to go to uh, bigger inserts, two mil oversize. And another thing with this is uh, with any of these booster, because this is 10,000 RPM plus boost. So rather than running a, a small insert at you know 80 or, or 90% throat ratio, we've actually gone to oversize uh, inserts which allow more mass in the seat so they will tend to handle the boost uh, a lot longer but, um, so that's that one and now you can see this is the finished result so as you can see even in these uh, the guide fins as you can see we've gone and put some big radiuses we've thinned these shark fins out to help them guide around the actual valve itself so these are far better profiled now um, the entry into the window, as you can see, the cross-sectional area is much, much better than it was. Um, you can't see any core shift anymore. As you can see, we've fixed all the core shift in there uh, and really put some nice shape into this. Also, the divider. Uh, we've gone to a proper knife-edge divider, so we've taken a lot of mass out of there. Got some more surface area, uh, sorry, more volume in this area here, cross-sectional area, because it is very tight. We also moved this wall out a little bit uh, to give it more CSA there, because this was the MCA of the port, so that's the choke point, um, which you can see in here. Um, is, is very thin and this takes up so much mass. So we've thinned all that down. Uh, this is what we've come up with. So it is a lot better, but um, yeah, even in the short term, um, yeah, right throughout. You know, you, you could keep going, but how far do you go? This was, you know, hours upon hours, but uh, probably got a little bit carried away uh, from what we had, but yeah, 
much, much better, especially in the, uh, the guide area. This is real important. So my focuses obviously are uh, the seat. This is the most important, uh, the, the seat to the port transition. We want this as smooth as possible, as seamless as possible. The next area, uh, which is a big focus for me, is the divider. A lot of people carry on saying knife edge this and it's wrong and this, that and the other. Then they'll put a turbo on with a... Uh, sharp impeller. We have no problems with um, sharp high speed to high speed areas. Um, I've, I've stated it time and time again, but unfortunately, people try and compare uh, ports to plane wings, and um, unfortunately, plane wings are designed for lift, not um, you know straight out aerodynamics. And ports are a little bit different to aerodynamics, as, as we've uh, seen. But yeah, even this way, you can see how much better that port is. So, and also on the figures, it's uh, it, it's way up. I don't really like talking figures because I don't race flow benches, but we'll see the results on the diner at, uh, and even the window. Remembering that dark colors usually look smaller, you can see how, how much bigger that window is. And we've also matched it to the uh, plasma man intake. So we bolted the intake on and ported the window to the cylinder head. But um, there you go, guys. Cheers.